One of the most anticipated modes in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master was officially out. We're talking about the casual mode. And I'll be honest with you, I probably will never go back to ranked again. Just because there's so much variety here. But it's both good and bad. So I played a handful of times since the mode came out while I was out of town and since I came back. And my only issue is, is the variety of decks that you get. You can still get those crazy meta decks. I Earlier I ran into someone playing Time Lords. Like, bro, why are you playing Time Lords in casual? I don't understand. And I also ran into Flu. I ran into Prank Kids Adventures. And I've also ran into st structure decks. So there's no like rank system, which sounds weird to say in the casual mode. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of games, the way they work is when you choose casual mode, it still kind of ranks you where you should be at, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's ever going to change, but it's both good and bad. Again, the good part is you're always going to get variety. Before we start, I was handed a note while I was at Evil, and I was told to read this in my next video, so I'm going to do that. I'm ready for this heartfelt message. In before, it's like a picture of, you know, just getting flicked off. <laughs> We got Bruh. Don't be a bot. Don't be a bot. Well, today I'm going to be a bot because we're playing Cypher. We are playing Knights. By the way, I want to kind of point out that me, C Reacts, and Dado did a God card video, and one of the biggest critiques I saw was people were mad that I was using my Dark Magician deck. I was not. It was using a Dark Magician engine. I want to be very, very clear with that. It was using just the, the same. 20 core cards that are based around Dark Magician working, and then Cypher and Cypher Support was in there as well. You only you only saw the, the same three cards come out because we dueled once. <laughs> I want that to be clear. It, that deck was built specifically for that, and the whole concept was we were going to do our best version of God decks that features Obelisk, Cypher, and Raw. So Dion literally played his main deck. His main deck, he changed nothing other than adding Evenly Matched into the deck. I built the Dark Magician deck, and then Dotto just looked one up online, so that's why his deck didn't work out. But I want to be very, very clear, because the biggest critique I saw was is, is all Rhyme did was just add Slifer to his deck. I did not! <laughs> I added a bunch of Slifer stuff in there. You just didn't see it because he saw it like twice. And I lost! <sighs> ah! Anyways, but the thing that the reason why I'm even bring that up in the first place is because people were asking, why don't I just run this? This deck sucks. I need to understand that this deck is incredibly unviable. You can make it more viable with the extra deck options, you know, by adding stuff like what, what CBX does is he adds the the star cards in there, which are fantastic, you know. And then what I did in my version is I got Baguska in there in case I have to kind of stall for time. And then you got your standard link setup as well. But the whole point of this deck is is you want to be able to get Slifer out with Mound of the Bound. So I got two Mound of the Bounds and then uh, Terraforming in here. And you also want to draw into Slifer. I have two in here because I know if I run three, I'm just going to brick. The idea is is using Thunder Speed Summon to bring it out. You can technically also use Small World as well, but I think this should work well enough. This deck does not work in ranked. Lucky for us, we're not playing ranked. We are playing casual where it doesn't matter. So either we're going to run into decks to feature old stuff like, I don't know, Mirror Force and Magic Cylinder, or, for example, right here, or we're going to run into decks that are just going to use the Flu Engine and adventure stuff and just absolutely blow my back out so let's see what happens comment section below if you played casual let me know and also what i need everybody to do is oh i dropped a note everybody comments don't be a bot all over this video because this is actually funny so the story with this i don't know if i mentioned it is when i was leaving evo i passed a group of people um, who recognized me and they were like i need you to read this in the next video don't open it and this is the first time i actually read it okay first hand Ooh, joker's wild this is not that good at all how much do they have? So they have 10. They have 10 and almost a 50 card deck. So 49 cards. Honestly, if I just do Joker's Wild, I might be safe. So let's actually send one card away. Let's just send uh, Queen's Knight away. And summon this in attack mode. And end my turn. Okay, so the idea is you can use Thunder Speed Summon. If I don't get my back blown out right now. And I can summon Slifer right away. Yeah, can I also take a second to say that Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is doing so much right right now. I am just loving it, you know. I hate the fact that they... Ooh, we're going right, right into Poly here. I hate the fact that we're not going to get blue Eyes Jet for a while, but they, they get Dana Mind officially. But also, that means the Dark Magician update as well is going to take a minute. What are you What are you sending away? Predator Plants? Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, no. All right, and we're done here. <laughs> That's all I needed to see. The best part about playing casual is you can just leave when you see something that you can't play around. All right, well, what you got for me? We got another basic border. This is probably a brand new account. Lost the coin toss. Will it matter? 
That's a better question. Oh my god, these hands are just have just been awful. These hands have just been awful. This is either one or two things. Either this is a basic structure deck, or it's going to be True Draco. And I can't really do anything here, so I guess I'll just summon King's Knight, and that's it. Set this, set that, and attack. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. Is it a structure deck? It might be a structure deck. End face, nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and flip Metal Reflect Slime. Wild Tornado! I guess I'll set this. That's kind of a weird trade-off. Awesome. Well, the good news is, I can just do this. I can attack with both of these. Wait, I can do this. What, what can I do this for? What would this do? Oh, I see what you can do. Attack! I... Because it's a level 10, that's why. I can do this, though. Which might give me more mileage, to be honest. Okay. I was like, what, what can you do that for? I forgot that Guardian Slime is a level 10. Oh, that's all they can do! <sighs> okay, we got a Metal Reflex Slime. I guess we'll set this. This is attack for 3,000. Boom! This is probably going to be as close to as old Yu-Gi-Oh as it gets. Because a lot of people get scared to play Yu-Gi-Oh because of the idea that you'll have to deal with all these crazy metas that exist. In here, you'll get the variety. You'll get either the top tier stuff or you'll get stuff like this. So I say give it a shot. They are dedicated. They do. Ash Blossom. So we're not going to even get a chance to do anything here. So we're going to flip you. Mirror Force will be pretty scary right about now. I won't be surprised. I want to see what deck that they're running. They are... I'm sorry, what is this? Okay. Alright, let's try this again. I have no idea what that last deck was. Okay, so we have a mate, and they are basically the lowest rank. And I'm going first, okay. So, because they have me go first, they're probably running like Blue Eyes or Dark Magician. Probably Blue Eyes. Do they have Blue Eyes sleeves? They have no sleeves at all. They have a lot of cards. What is that, 50 cards? 50 cards. Okay. Ta Ooh, this is good. We're going to do Terraforming first. We can finally actually get a possible Slifer setup. Let's actually grab you. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm just going to end my turn. They have six cards. The chances of them OTK me has got to be pretty low here. So the idea is they hit me. I go into Guardian Slime. I survive. I go into... Slifer with Mound of the Bound, and then I just start railing. Alright, they're taking their sweet time over here, so I guess I'll just go through... They're not gonna attack me. Okay. Why is it every time I start talking is when they do it? Please let me draw into Joker straight. There we go! Why did it take so long to do that? Did I not, did I not just say I wish I can get Joker straight? Joker straight too. Let's discard... We'll discard, I guess, Jack's Knight. We'll summon Queen's Knight. Queen's Knight. Wait, these are some kind of special summons, do they? It don't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Does it? And then we can go to Jack's Knight. Oh, I still can! Let's actually do this first. Mound of the Bound. And now we do this. Yeah! Show me the animation! Rise, Slifer the Sky Dragon! I have to be dramatic. Alright, let's go into attack mode. What is this? It is a blue eyes deck! I knew it! God, I'm so good at reading people! Yes, I'm going to go ahead and recycle everything to make Slifer stronger. Let's do Queen's Knight first. Wait, no, just that. All I play was Joker straight. That's right. Okay. Now what do you do? I'm surprised that they, that they set this. Can't you just like summon this or you're just chilling? You know, I'm thinking of Maiden. Maiden with the Eyes of Blue is a smarter card. No, they're not. They do. Guardian Slime, again. I think we can, we can get game here if I do this. It should be like 8,000 attack, I think. 
Let's just do this. Because I can get that back into my hand. So, Queen's Knight. King's Knight! Skill Drain? You betch! I'm gonna just go into this. Oh, but I can't do it! Because it's part of the effect, right? Damn! I'm gonna still attack you to be childish. Boom. Boom. Damn! Okay, I had my turn. Okay. And I have no back row removal in this deck. Yeah, I don't. So, I think I just straight lose here now. Never mind! I guess they lose! Also, I want to figure out why I wasn't able to summon Egyptian God Slime. Because that wasn't part of the effect. I don't know. We'll do one more. And we got another... My name is Jeff. Not Jeff. Huh. You want a coin toss? Let me get... Sly Friend and Joker straight in my opening hand. We got Mountain the Bound, Thurnus something. We did not... We got Joker's Wild. Kind of. That's kind of useful. So I guess I'll just do this and then my turn. Alright. So you have 10 cards and you have 41 cards in your main deck. <sighs> Let's see what happens. I can send Thunder Speed Summon away, to be honest. What is this? Dragon Maid? Oh, perfect. Effect Failure just absolutely just blows your back out right now. Unless you have Call by the Grave in your hand. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. End of the main phase. Wait. Wait, let me flip my... Uh, whatever. Let's just do it right now. <gasps> Deru. Guardian Slime. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and flip this first. And send Joker straight away. And let's discard. I guess we'll discard. Thunder Force attack won't be as useful here. We got Queen's Knight. Yes. And then uh, King's Knight. And now I can do Thunder Speed Summon. And I can grab Slifer. And normal summon Slifer. Now here's a kicker. I have to activate this. The problem is, is so the second I go into battle here, they do not have. Oh, they don't have it. This is great. This is actually fantastic. And then we can recycle, so we can make Slifer stronger. Okay, so the way their deck works is they have to normal summon stuff, so parlor, chamber, stuff like that. And when they normal summon, that's going to activate Slifer's ability. Now, if they happen to have Harpy's Feather Dust, I just lose here. Again, this shows you the weaknesses of God Guard. So, like, there, that, that, that gets destroyed. They're gonna they're gonna get the Fisher stuff out, but the car still gets destroyed. Parlor, I think, is the one that sends one away into the graveyard, right? Hospital Hospitality is the one that's just someone from the graveyard. Okay. Well, let's see how this works out. So, this effect is going to activate now. If they have a changeover, they do end up basically winning here. Although, how's that going to work out? So, if they summon Shale, they can't destroy me. Because Shale destroys and negates. I guess she would negate, but I wouldn't get destroyed. But she has the damage on me. Return to the Dragon Lord. Okay. Summon in attack mode. I dare you. Beautiful. 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 Well, actually, they, they can still go into their stuff. So if they have changeover, which is their main fusion card, it's going to be GG's for me. This is fun. They have changeover. And they can go into shale here. This is bad. This is really bad. Good news is... Here's the good news. So, they're going to go into... This effect is going to activate right now. They have to negate it. They have to negate this. If they do, it's just going to bring out house. But in theory, it shouldn't destroy me because I have Mound of the Bound on the field. Right? Yeah. And then now uh, house comes out. And the better question... Oh, but they can beat me! No, they can't beat me. You still lose your attack. Woo! I have a lot of experience playing against uh, Dragon Man. That's, that's why I know how this deck works. And they're gone! <laughs> that was actually fire! Wow. Who wins? A house of Dragon Maids or King Dragon himself, Slifer? The answer is Slifer in this situation. Yeah, Mound of the Bound... Is what screwed it because what, what uh, Shale does is Shale negates and lets you summon house on the field. 
So she negated and destroyed, but she can't destroy me by card effects. So that's kind of like why I ended up winning there. I don't know. I'm ending it right here. Let me know your thoughts on this mode. I'm excited about it. I think it's very, very fun. I see a lot of uh, potential in this, especially if you want to build fun decks and not actually test them out in ranked, which is what sucks. I'll be real with you. I'll probably never play ranked again because I like the variety you get here. And it's just way less stressful, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Let's be real. I'm still going to play ranked. It's me. I'm competitive, but yeah. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you're playing and testing out in this mode. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.